Launching things into space, at the best of times, is extraordinarily difficult. The object needs to be traveling at over Mach 23 to reach orbit, and endure the stresses of traveling at such an extreme speed. Such harsh conditions make space launches fairly unreliable and extremely costly. And with space launches growing year over year, several companies are looking for ways around the problem. From air-breathing rockets to reusable launch vehicles, there certainly isn't a lack of ideas for how to make space launches cheaper and more reliable. One company, called Spin Launch, has just the idea to fix this issue. Let's take a look at how they plan to do so. Their plan is in the name. They want to spin rockets up in a huge centrifuge to massive speeds and then launch them into space. The spin up takes about an hour to reach speeds upwards of 8,000 kilometers per hour. This is done in a vacuum chamber centrifuge to avoid air turbulence and vibrations. Once the rocket is spinning fast enough, the doors open for a split second and the rocket is released at a 35 degree angle. After the rocket is released, it travels up 61 kilometers, where a small rocket engine is ignited to bring it up to orbital speeds at around 28,000 kilometers per hour. If their plan is successful, it would significantly reduce costs, as a much smaller rocket, equipped with much less fuel, could still make it to orbit with the help of the centrifuge. Their goal is to lower the cost to launch a rocket by a factor of 20 to only $500,000 per launch. This may sound rather low, especially since the construction of the centrifuge and all accompanying equipment is expected to cost in excess of $80 million. However, Spin Launch plans to do an absurd five launches per day. Most companies would struggle to do that many per month, which is why the idea is such a great one. However, getting to that goal won't be easy. Firstly, let's talk about the centrifuge. To give you a sense of scale, the centrifuge could fit a football field inside of it. However, the real problem is that it needs to be vacuum sealed. This makes the spin up much easier, as well as avoiding air turbulence, which can damage the centrifuge and the payload. When construction is finished, the centrifuge will be the sixth largest vacuum chamber in the world. Though the vacuum centrifuge is only one of the problems they face. The other is the strength of the arm spinning up the payload. Spinning anything that fast causes extreme forces that can easily warp and break metal. The very principles of physics that allow this idea to work can also rip the machine apart. Here's why. As something is rotating, it experiences a centripetal force that will pull the rocket inwards. In this case, the force pulling it in is the centrifuge arm. At the same time, the velocity is pulling the rocket outwards as it wants to follow the tangential pathway of the circle it is rotating about. As the speed of the centrifuge increases, the centripetal force needs to rise in proportion. If the centripetal force is not strong enough, the payload the size of a car will follow the tangential pathway and punch through virtually anything at such high speeds. Using the circular motion formulas, we can determine how many times per second the centrifuge is spinning. Using velocity squared over the centripetal acceleration will give us the radius, which equates to about a 50 meter radius centrifuge. Next, we can use the 2 pi radius over velocity formula to give us the period of rotation. This comes out to be 0.141 seconds per rotation which if we take the reciprocal of that, we get 7.1 rotations per second. That may not sound like much, but since the centrifuge is so massive, this creates the 8,000 kilometers per hour needed to launch the rocket into the stratosphere. The idea of spinning a rocket in order to launch it into space is an intriguing one. There is no question that the rocket and centrifuge experience massive forces that will certainly need to be dealt with for this idea to come to fruition. However, if this idea ever becomes a reality, it will make launching satellites to space several times cheaper than reusable rockets, like those of SpaceX's. Anyway, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, and I will see you all soon with a brand new video.